Hello there, this is Only One Kenobi with a 6 inch video. Yes indeed, I've been waiting a long time to open this guy here. I bought him from the entertainer and I found myself getting him home with a couple of other figures which I will be reviewing, that would be Darth Maul and Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I found myself putting them on this toy rack there as opposed to getting them open because they look quite cool just swinging on the pegs momentarily but yeah this is a six inch figure and like i said in a recent video i'm not going to go all out with six inch collect figure collecting i'm very much a 3.75 inch figure collector and there i shall stay but if and when we have good characters like this guy here of course i love sand troopers and storm troopers who doesn't um i will be reviewing and buying them especially for 11 pounds so yeah there you go i've just been dying to get them reviewed so this is what i'm going to do today and in total style with my channel only one kenobi i'm a big vintage collector and fan so i shall be doing you know a little look at the equivalents in that line maybe a little comparison although there probably will be no comparison because you know this is a great figure and everything but the articulation no doubt on the six inch figure will be vastly superior um, even though, yeah, this is a very well-articulated figure, let's be clear on that. The, For example, the head, ball joints on the head on this one is tough because of the pauldron. I wonder what this will be like. I can only imagine it being better because generally they are. They have double joints, six-inch figures and, and such like. And they, um, do they look better? Well, I don't know, really. Um, you can just tell, again, going back to this, that the quality of three and three quarter inch can match if not be as good as anything in the six inch scale um although they, it is improving the six inch line i have to say the uh captain rex i got recently just blew me away fantastic but anyway there you go so before i move on and open this let's just have a look at the car backs this is the vc 112 which is the figure i just showed you now although albeit this was the uh black series a repack of it I certainly wasn't going to spend £50 or above on this and open it. <laughs> so anyway, it goes for a lot of money, this now. Uh, it's the Sand Trooper. Well, a very nice figure, good accessories in it. And moving on to the earlier edition, which is the VC-114. And that's also a nice figure, albeit a lot cleaner. And then the 112 is a, an improvement, I'd say, of this. This is the... I have two variants of the VC-14, and that's the... Silver Chase and then the standard there and this also has the Boba Fett sticker but I'm not going to focus as much on these two because the closest equivalent of the six inch figure that I have here which is the number three Sand Trooper is my friend in the VC112 slash Black Series repack this fella here anyway I just thought I'd show you him just because I'm a big fan of the scale and line of figures the vintage collection and yada yada but more importantly I'm just desperate to get this guy open so let's do that right now bear with me boom now, just before I take him out of the internal bubble, I wanted to show you what he looked like inside here. So this is what he looks like when you slide him out of the box. And this is just a good opportunity just to show you what he looks like when you take him out of the box and also a closer look now, a clearer look at the wash on the body. And most definitely, these six inch sand troopers just have a little less wash or color on them than these guys do. These guys look darker. Maybe they've been out longer. Who knows, but there's certainly a paint job all over, a wash on the body, which is really nice. These guys are armed to the teeth. They have almost the same amount of accessories as the VC-112. They've got that huge cannon there, this rifle, and then also the blaster, which is three guns, and also the backpack. This one's a bit more faithful to the original trilogy, whereas this one here has that accessory, that droid, which is a special edition addition to the character when he's floating around them. Um, Alright then, so that's about it, and I've said it before and I'll say it again about Sand Troopers. I don't believe the Empire ever referred to them as such. I think that Sand Troopers are Stormtroopers on manoeuvre, because no doubt every Star Destroyer has squadrons, legions of Stormtroopers that are kitted out for whatever terrain they're about to enter. Obviously this guy is suited for the desert, but then again his backpack or whatever could be suited for any terrain. Um... But obviously in certain circumstances, for example, snow troopers, they will completely change their armour and go for a completely different style or whatever. But anyway, yeah, that's all they are. They're just stormtroopers. <laughs> and um, yeah, with obviously their survival gear and god damn it, three guns. So they are armed to the teeth, these fellas. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is get him outside the outside of this bubble and then I shall articulate him and put all the accessories together on him. Join me. 
And do you know what, man? I haven't even finished messing around with them. I've only just taken them out, but six inch figures are just awesome, aren't they? They're really good. I wanted to just give you a look at me um, putting all the bits to, together on him so you can sort of just see how it all goes. Um, but it's awesome. I haven't put anything on him yet. What I mean is I haven't added any guns yet. I need to figure out how that goes. But just for now, just check this guy out. It's awesome. Uh, look at that. <laughs> if you really want to know what figures like, get it out of the box. You know what I mean? Massive argument for opening figures. Because he does not look as good as that inside that box. He's amazing. Yeah, double jointed. Um, I said there'd be ultra articulation and indeed there is there's a double joint on the elbow there just for example just so you can do more tight kind of what's the word now bends on the body but yeah look at that that's quite a nice pull I haven't even put any weapons on him yet and I like the way he looks just like that anyway going on the back you might notice on the New Hope one of the guys doesn't have a backpack backpack when they all run in towards the Falcon all right man launch your weapons so but this guy is going to get a backpack I'm going to put it on him now look at the ammo pouch is attached to the backpack there but anyway let's get this on him should fit nicely there there you go and then yeah there's the blaster i've not taken that out of his hand and then this is really cool this rifle it's very like the one that came with the sand trooper sorry snow trooper that i have on the wall over there um so anyway i like these these are nice these rifles are pretty nice and as for the other one that i know i've got that came in the packet just like the three and three quarter inch, I'm having trouble getting that in his hand. Just like the three and three quarter inch one, that might drape over, I might drape that over his uh, elbow, you know what I mean? I beg your pardon, shoulder. Don't know, I'll figure that out. Let me just take all these off for now. Have a look at the figure. Let's have a look at the other bits of articulation. You've got the hinge on the, yeah, hinge on the wrist, which is nice. I'll take the backpack off again. And then you've got ab crunch. This is a nice feature, by the way. Can you see that on the pauldron? A little bit of a stretch mark, so that's a nice, you know, a, a, a bit of additional sculpting or whatever on there. And then is it a double joint on the... Yes, it is a double joint. You see, these, these are great. You know, where have I been all my life? You know, I've not been dodging the six-inch line, but I just made the decision not to get involved. And, and I, again, I don't want to get massively involved, but I don't regret getting him because he's one of my favourite characters, you know? Awesome. And he will go very nicely... On the wall, I've got a snow tree, but let me have a quick look now. Boom, over here. Excuse the mess in this room, by the way. I mean, I've just got some of my favourites. I've just got them on these little, you know, podiums here. There's Rev in there, and, you know, Django. You know, that's just that was my plan on going for the six-inch line. I thought, you know, whenever there's a good character out there, I'll get him. And he's no exception. So, if you want to get him, he's six pounds at the Entertainer. Six pounds, I'm talking absolute crap there, ladies and gentlemen, excuse my language. He, there, how about that? He is 11 pounds. He might have come down in price because they're having a sale right now for Christmas and yada yada, so, but I don't think they'll drop the price on him because he's sought after, isn't he? Anyway, how long have you had these droids? About three or four seasons? They're up for sale if you want them. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One.